Mara here and I want to talk to you today about something called congruence and something being similar. Now these have words in general English but I'm going to be talking today about what they mean in numeracy or maths. So what is congruence? Congruence is when you have something that is the same as another object. Uh, and this is what it means generally. If something is congruent with something else, it holds true with it. But when we say true in maths, we mean it's true in terms of how large it is, in terms of what the angles are, in terms of what side of, type of shape it is. So we'll be working through how we do this, and I'll be referring you to some other really good videos. So when we say similar, we just mean that it's got something in, like that it's basically structurally the same. So two squares of a different size are similar. But anyhow. So, when we're looking at um, shapes, what we're asking ourselves is, are these congruent? Is this, this basically the same shape, just sitting up a different way? Are they similar, or are they neither of these things? You know, are they different, I guess. So, moving on. I've just realised I'm about to run into a bit of a roadblock here, but that's okay. So, in these, we, when we label the sides, we can see that they are in fact the same. You know, that from A to B is the same whether you turn it on its side and that the measurement would be exactly the same. You could also use those little cross hatch marks that we've been using a bit recently. Um, when we get to this, and this is actually where I'm gonna drop out of the slideshow for a second. So this triangle is the same even if you spin it. So that's the same triangle. It has the same length, it has the same angles. It is exactly the same beast. And so looking at the next slide here, you can see that it, sometimes you'll see questions where it'll say, is, basically, is A and B congruent to D and E? And in actual fact, they are. They are the same, they have the same measurement, they have the same angles and so forth. And so what I'm going to do is show you the congruent symbol, which looks like an equal with a tilde over it, or a tilde, depending on who you ask. And I'm going to look at some of these puzzles on a site called IXL, which I've shown you recently. And um, while it's a commercial service, and unfortunately they're not sponsoring me in any way, um, nevertheless, I'm going to have a look at their problems because I think they're well put together. So what it's asking me are these two kind of wonky kite shapes congruent. So the key word is congruent up here. Are they the same? So I'm looking at the pointy end, and this one's 55 degrees, and this one's 60 degrees. Now, to be congruent, they'd need to be actually the same. See the side lengths, the, oh, even they're not the same, 72 versus 73. So I'm going to confidently say, no, they are not. And wonderful, there you go, that's quite high praise. So, are these shapes similar? Yes, they've all got these, um, these little lines being the same mean that they're the same angle, and those double lines mean that's the same angle, but they are different sizes. So yeah, I'm going to go right ahead and say, yes, they are similar. So submit. Okay, I'm doing well here. So I'll do another couple. Now, are these shapes congruent? So are they exactly the same? Now that's a good question. So I'm looking at the short end here and it's got 115 degrees and 115 in both places. So I think it is. It's got 65 and 65, yes. The short end is 20, oh, and the short end here is 19. So they're not congruent, they're just similar. They're the same angles, but they're a different size. So no, they're not congruent. Okay, so are these shapes similar? Let's see, we've got a right angle at N and T, so yes. Are they, we've got that double angle in the middle and the single angle kind of up the top if I spin it round. Now, the trick is, is it just scaled up or is it actually a genuinely different shape? Now, because all three angles are the same, I know it must be scaled up, or at least that's what I think. So I'm going to say, yes, they are similar, but let's see what the answer is. Okay, well, there you go. I was lucky. Um, actually, let's have a look. This one's good. Are these shapes similar? Mm, let's see. This one is a square. It's 45 by 45. I'm sorry about the lawnmower, by the way, but it's sunny here where I live, and it's the law that people have to mow when it's sunny. So it's 45 and 45, so that's a square. This is 45 and 33, so it's a rectangle. So no, they're not similar. These are different shapes. So anyhow, that's meant to be explaining those concepts.
can sign up for IXL if you want to use it some more. Uh, let's go back to the PowerPoint if we can. There you go. That's me. Hope this has been useful to you. And um, I'll put a link to the video you should watch.